classic questions for Avalanche head coach Jared Bednar. Peter Baugh at The Athletic. Hey, Jared, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Um, I saw Doobie back out there today. I guess what's kind of the, the plan with him, and has Johansson kind of earned his way into being the backup, at least to start the playoffs? Yeah, I think JJ's done a real nice job for us here in his last few starts. He's been able to get better and improve every game since coming to us. So um, he'll back up tonight. Uh, Doobie just got on the ice uh, yesterday for the first time. So he's going to need a little work to get back to uh, where he needs to be. And uh, so for now, anyways, uh, JJ will be the backup. Any other questions for Jared? Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey Jared, is uh, Alex Newhook going to be in the lineup tonight? Yes. Ron Knabenbauer, avalanche.com. Hey, Jared. How important is it for this team to have a guy like Brandon Sod in the lineup tonight who leads your team in playoff experience and obviously has played in some big games in his career? Yeah, it's big. You know, I was worried about him and his timeline. Um, if he was going to be able to get back and up to speed in time, but he's been skating for a little bit longer than um, than I had expected. So um, he looks good, feels good. He's going to be in the lineup. Need the big body guys against St. Louis, especially. He needs guys that you know goes to the net hard, and that's what he does. He's he's got nice finish down around there. He jumps in on that one power play. So a valuable guy for us for sure, especially with that experience that he brings. Rick Sadowski, NHL.com. Hi, Jared. Just wondering if you could catch whatever the vibe seemed like this morning heading into this first game. Guys feel good. Yep, they're excited to play. You know, it's 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 that time of year where it's the most fun time to be playing hockey. And um, they put in a lot of hard work uh, behind the scenes over the last few days, lots of meetings, getting prepared. And, and I think they're anxious to get out and go play. Evan Rall, DNBR. Yeah, Coach, just regarding Newhook, you didn't have a long time to take a look at him, but what, what did you see that makes you feel comfortable that he can play and stick in the playoff hockey tonight? Yeah, well, he I mean, he's he's competed hard for us. He's he's shown flashes of his skill and ability to make plays. He's a hard working guy. He's been you know, he's been pretty good defensively, too. You know, I don't see any uh, big weaknesses there. So um, hoping that he can continue to elevate his game, continue to get better and develop here in a short period of time. And um, so he's, he's getting in tonight. I, I just like the way he's played and uh, he's missed the net on some opportunities. I think he hits the net. He's probably got a few more points and probably a goal or two by now. So hopefully he can just keep getting better here and uh, want to take a look at him with that line tonight. Michael Morial, NHL.com. Good morning, Coach. Uh, obviously, the Blues will want to come out physical. Do you feel your club needs to match that, or, or would that be playing right into their hands? Well, I think you have you have to play physical. You got to fight for space out there. You got to earn your ice. Um, that means you know, not just you know on the four check and, and finishing checks, but it means you know, like I said, getting to the interior of the ice, which is going to be real important and and uh, puck protection and you know there's all kinds of different ways to play physical we need to be in a pack a little bit they like to put their numbers around the puck and get it stopped up they got a lot of big long heavy guys in there so um i, I don't i think every team that's playing in the playoffs is going to ramp up the the intensity and physical play in the playoffs we're no different and, and neither are the blues so uh we'll, we'll be ready for that part of the game we'll take three more here for jared mike chambers denver post the Blues obviously are going through some COVID situations. Uh, I'm sure you guys have had a couple extra conversations about how you must avoid that problem. Is is that safe to say? Yeah. I mean, we've got the new protocols. We've talked to our guys about being safe and continue to do what, um, you know, they've been doing all year. There's precautions that you have to take. You got to avoid certain situations to try to make sure that you don't come down with this thing. Because if you do, uh, you're going to miss time and, and it's just like getting an injury or anything else. It's something you have to deal with it. It's adversity that we don't want at this point. Um, so, we, you know, our guys are well aware of, of what's at stake and, and, and the precautions that they have to take. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Jared, you said Connor Timmons was possibly going to be an option. I know he got banged up the last game. Is he good to go for tonight? 
He is. Yep. He's good to go. He's, he feels great. And last one here, Ron Knobenbauer, avalanche.com. Jared, in the playoffs, obviously details matter so much. How much have you talked to your guys the last two, three days of the importance of making sure details and crisp passes and everything is fine tuned when that can really determine a game in a series? It's part of it for sure. It's a, it's a game of mistakes and, and you certainly don't want to uh, um, beat yourself. So, you know, part of that is playing with the attention to detail that, that, that we've set the standard for. It's being competitive enough to, to win the hockey game. It's um, making plays when they're there and executing when, when we have some options and, and making the right decision if we don't, you know, putting it in a safe area of the ice where we can go check it back. So all those things are part of it. And, you know, we've spent the better part of three days preparing and meeting with our guys to set a game plan that we feel is a good one. Our guys are on board with it and uh, off we go. All right. Thank you, Jared. All right. Thank you. All right. We'll take questions for Avalanche forward Brandon Saad. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Brandon, I guess uh, to start, how are you feeling like injury wise and what stood out about the team's performance when you were out the last like two and a half weeks or so? Yeah, I feel good, ready to go. I'm excited here to get get the playoffs started and the team looked great. I mean, it's been fun to watch uh, the things they can do, next man up type mentality, um, different types of wins throughout each game. And uh, obviously to cap off the President's Trophy, I'm excited for, for the team and Big accomplishment, but we're looking forward to the playoffs. Ron Knobenbauer, avalanche.com. Brandon, for you, what's the biggest difference between regular season hockey and playoff hockey? Well, I just think the intensity. You know, it's uh, um, every shift seems a little bit more competitive and more important. Uh, not that the regular season isn't, but it just there's something in the atmosphere in the air where um, especially now with getting fans back where there's kind of a different energy and um, it's do or die or you go home. Lauren Jabbar, Altitude Sports. Hey, Brandon, good to see you back. Um, just what, like in the locker room, kind of take me in there. Like what's the desire like of this team right now and what's kind of the energy this morning heading into the arena? I think everyone's excited. You know, it's, uh, they had a few day break and I know everyone's itching to get the playoffs started and um, you know, matchups, you have meetings, things like that. And I think everyone's just getting ready to play. Everyone's excited about where we're at as a team. And um, we're just looking forward to going around here. Rick Sadowski, NHL.com. Hey, Brandon. Good to see you healthy again. Um, as someone who's been through the playoff grind and gone all the way and won a couple of times, um, I know maybe it's not fair to compare, but just your feeling on this team as opposed to, you know, when the Hawks won. Yeah, I think, uh, like you said, it's tough to compare, but we have a lot of ingredients here. You know, it's uh, something throughout the season. I think we've grown as a group. We have a lot of depth, a lot of skill, a lot of talent, um, different age groups around around the team, some veterans, some young guys coming in. So uh, I think a lot of that is some similarities, uh, just pure raw talent on the team. And then um, it's, it's the excitement of the team too. I, I think we're a confident group. We know what we can do. Uh, and you kind of have that same feeling when we were, when I was winning with Chicago. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey Brandon, not that you're old, but um, Alex Newhook seems like a young Brandon Sod. I was just curious if you can see that and if you could talk about the young guy. Yeah, I think he, he looks good. You know, it's stepping in. It's obviously getting a chance to play tonight. Uh, it's an exciting moment for him. And obviously the, the organization and coaching staff see that he can bring something to the table. So uh, just seeing from, from afar, I haven't got to be around him too much, but obviously he has tremendous talent. Um, he's playing with confidence, so all that goes into it. And then getting to play with some good players too helps, but uh, I think he definitely has a bright future. We'll take two more here for Brandon. Ron Knobenbauer, avalanche.com. Brandon, during games in the playoffs, how important is it to make sure players are focused and your details are sharp? during the game? Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, like I said earlier, it's do or die. And uh, the biggest thing is in playoffs is the details and momentum swings and control and that. Um, so, so that's going to be, it's something we talked about, staying mentally sharp. Uh, like I said, it's been a few days. So everyone's trying to kind of get back into the groove of things and I'm um, excited to play tonight. 
And last one here, Peter Baugh at The Athletic. Yeah, Brandon, I know different players are kind of different about this, but do you get nervous before playoff games? Like, what are your nerve, what's your nerve level like right now? Well, I'm pretty calm right now, but uh, I think uh, any type of game, you have some nerves going until you get out there. Uh, at least for me, it's something where you want to, you, everyone puts pressure on themselves at this level to perform. And um, so that's something that you think about. But once you get out there, you just kind of let it flow and play another hockey game. All right. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you. All right, we'll now take questions for Avalanche forward Valeria Nachushkin, who will be speaking today through an interpreter. We'll start with Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey Val, um, I guess just as a whole, how have you felt your, your season has gone um, from day one? I know you came in a little banged up maybe, but it seems like you've gotten better as the year has gone on. Uh, I think it's tough year for everybody, you know, so many games some breaks uh, with uh, COVID and everything. Uh, but for me, yeah, I started a little slow because I had a little surgery in uh, off season time. So, but then, yeah, I get uh, a little more comfortable and uh, physical better in the season time. And I hope I'm ready for playoff. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Well, I'm not sure that, that you learned this yet, but you have been nominated as the Masterton Trophy nominee from the Colorado chapter of the Professional Hockey Writers Association. I just wanted to know if, if you had heard that and what you thought of the honor. Uh, yeah, I've heard of that. Uh, I think it's, uh, uh, I think it's good, yeah. And uh, uh, I will try to prove it. Evan Rall, DNVR. Hey Val, since you and Tyson Jost were put together, you guys have seemed to really hit it off and had a lot of chemistry. What is it that you and Tyson, I guess, work? Why is that? I guess you work so well together. Uh, I actually think like all our team like and work like doesn't matter. We we change the lines like uh, pretty much, and uh, me and Jost. Yeah, I think Jost is hot right now. That's why like it's easy to play with him. He's uh, moved the puck shoot very well. So I, I think he's on fire right now. Lauren Jabara, Altitude Sports. Hey Val, good to see you. Um, just taking us inside the locker room, like what is the desire and energy of the team this morning starting before game one tonight? Uh, I think everybody wait, uh, wait for a little long, like for a playoff start. We know we have a good team. We everyone want to go uh, like far as we can, and uh, I think we're ready. And uh, everyone's so excited to start tonight. And last one here, Peter Baugh, the Athletic. Yeah, Val, you're one of the the best four checkers on the team. I guess what is the the key to your four checking ability? What types of things do you try and keep in mind while you're on the ice four checking? Uh, I don't know, I just want to play hard, you know, I want to get back back as soon as possible and uh, I want to, my team control the puck, so that's why, probably. All right, thank you, Val, appreciate it. Thanks so much.